I'm showing here the flow of funds accounts of China and the U.S. I'm showing uh, the are already written in here the trade balances. So here is the Chinese trade surplus, and here is the U.S. trade deficit um, as net expenditures. And the first point is to appreciate that each of these sources and uses has a corresponding financial uh, use and source, respectively. So for China, it's asset accumulation here. And for the U.S., it's asset decumulation, selling some assets. Or perhaps borrowing here. Both are sources of funds. I'm abstracting from the issue of accumulating or, de or decumulating money hoards here. So that's the first point. Um, and uh, the second point is that there's no reason for this to be bilateral accumulation or decumulation necessarily. We could have another balance sheet here, the rest of the world, sources and uses, not balance sheet, and, um, and ha have financial uh, decumulation or borrowing here, or borrowing here and accumulation here so that the rest of the world is acting as an intermediary and the this accumulation is the course corresponds to here and this corresponds to here